Welcome back to Clark Planetarium's classroom video series. What are volcanoes? How do they erupt? Have you ever seen one? Today we'll be exploring volcanoes and how they work. There are about 40 to 50 volcanic eruptions at any given time. The vast majority of active volcanoes here on Earth are actually located around the Pacific Ocean in what we call the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire is actually home to many famous volcanoes, such as Mount St. Helens and Mount Fuji. Volcanoes are formed when a crack forms in the Earth's crust. This allows for material to escape from the inside of the Earth. This material can include lava, ash, and toxic gases. Most volcanoes form around the boundaries of Earth's tectonic plates. You might have seen our volcano exhibit when you've come to visit the Clark Planetarium. Let me show you how it works. This exhibit models the flow of gas moving upward through solid material. Volcanic eruptions are known for releasing lava, hot molten rock from under the earth, but that's not all. Hot gases mixed with magma start gathering under the earth's crust. As the pressure builds, it can crack the earth's crust and escape, causing a violent eruption in this case. The exhibit uses air to push through a layer of sand to represent or model this phenomenon. Did you know that Utah has several volcanoes? Most of them are located in our state or national parks. The most recent volcanic activity that we had here in Utah was actually about 600 years ago near Fillmore, Utah. The most common type of volcanoes in Utah are steep hills of erupted volcanic rock called cinder cones. One example of a Utah volcano is the Santa Clara volcano down by St. George, Utah. This volcano is dormant or inactive, which means that it will not erupt anytime soon, but it has the capability to erupt. Another example is the Mineral Mountains Cove Fort volcano. This one is actually extinct. That means that it is not likely to ever erupt again. Earth has thousands of volcanoes all over it. Are we the only ones with volcanoes in our solar system? Do other space objects have volcanoes? Let me take you to a little place called Io. Io is a moon of Jupiter and it has volcanoes. The gravitational forces of Jupiter and the other Galilean moons pull on Io's surface, generating friction and creating heat, heat that powers the volcanoes on its surface. The blue color of the plume in this image is consistent with the presence of sulfur dioxide. This eruptive plume is an example of unearthly volcanic activity. Thank you for watching and exploring with me today. If you want to learn more, check out the links in the description. And remember, keep asking questions, keep exploring, and keep looking up.